Winter preparation starts normally from October to March. Extremes in Scotland, we can see down to minus 10 to 15. As soon as we find something, control will have it within five minutes. If we don't shift the snow and clear it, then nothing will move. Red warning in Scotland. It's highest level of weather alert. Heavy and prolonged snow showers. For blizzard-like conditions, feeling really, really cold. Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to go through a quick uh, overview. We will have an extreme weather action teleconference so we can actually pinpoint exactly where we're going to see the disruption and that will let everyone else in the route know. Then we've got standby crews we go to key locations uh, and that's where we respond to the goal command. front we have a multi-sensor system, it's the FLIR Star Sapphire 380 HD. It is very, very accurate. We have a laser range finding system on board, which means we can fire a laser at a fault. And it gives us a very accurate set of coordinates, so we can feed back very accurately where the problem is. Weather-wise for the railway, it's, it's, it's depending on height of snow levels. So it's up to eight inches of snow. Uh, so that's when the railway normally comes to a stand. If we have uh, units that have got miniature snow ploughs and locomotives with miniature snow ploughs, it's from eight inches to 12 inches. And above 12 inches, we've got to bring these big ploughs out to go and start uh, doing the big job. What we'll do, we'll obviously look at the weather forecast and if it's going to, have going to be heavy snowfalls in the area, then we've got standby crews, we go to key locations uh, and that's where we respond to the goal command. If there's a points failure or there's a line blocked, then we'll, we'll react and do what's required from the control. Coming into the winter seasons, first thing we do is we look at the point heating systems. Um, we have the ability to remotely switch them on here at uh, our, our base in Cumbernauld. Um, we'll go out, switch them all on, make sure they're working, feed back any faults straight back to the engineers so that when the snow comes and the icy weather comes, there's no surprises. They know what's, what is working, but they also know what isn't working so they can get to it before it becomes a problem. The worst note is uh, definitely when we've got cold air coming in from the east, we then have uh, warmer air coming in from the southwest and uh, that, we wouldn't, that would normally be a rain front front, but due to engaging with the, the cold air from the east that then turns to snow and we see the worst snowfalls in Scotland in that situation. So all the network is at risk due to winter weather conditions. So our colleagues, be they in Scotland, Wales or here in England, will be doing all they can to make sure that our passengers and our freight operators can complete their journeys with minimal disruption.